Hey y'all! On this episode of Dave Eats, Dave has gone country. On this rural road trip, Dave is heading to Langton, Ontario, to the hamlet of Andy's Corners. This has to be the first village named after a restaurant I have ever seen. How about you? Comment below if you have been to a restaurant where the town was named after it. Programming this bad can only be found on the Worst Food Review channel on YouTube. Roll the Dancing Chimp! Welcome back, Dave Eats, where safety is always number one priority. Boy, where safety is number one priority. Today, we're at Andy's, and Andy's Corners, the sign said somewhere. We're just outside of where? Langton, Ontario. Langton, Ontario. Um, so, are we just going to go right to the food? That's the way we do it here. No chit chat. Okay. Well, here, I took these up first. Why don't we try these? These are. Andy's kettle chips. You've never been here before, have you? I have. And you've never No, it's first for me as well. I have never been here before either. Those must have been some big potatoes. Those were big potatoes, weren't they? Yeah. Kettle cooked chips? Mm -hmm. Oh, thick cut, eh? They're not bad, right? They're good. Mm -hmm. Got a good amount of salt without being over salted. Mm hmm. I like it when the food comes season. Now, you're not a big salt guy. You'd probably like it with less salt, wouldn't you? Honestly, yeah, that's a bit salty for my taste. It's just the right amount for me. Same with me. Hmm. But they are a nice chip. That is a really nice chip. We couldn't get poutine out. We got forks or anything here, though, Sunda? So those are Andy's kettle chips. Yep. I don't know if they're any different than, you know, say, Ron's or anybody, but... You want to get a picture of this, Lucinda? Looks good. Curds. Real cheese curds, right? Yeah, that's some big cheese. And they're big cheese curds. Yeah, that's nice small ones. By the way, I like it. Curds and dark gravy, right? Okay. Well, we'll let you get some poutine out first. How's that? All right, sounds and good. And I'll eat a chip. We'll have a chip first while we're waiting. Sure. All right. Okay. Okay. Like I know, but I know with chicken wings, you really. I like them saucy. Yeah. Yes. Some of the sauce, right? Right. And I don't mean whatever, but if it's a hot chicken wing, the heat likes to. Uh, I don't know, grab the sauce. Right. right. So. All right, we're gonna try these. Yep. Okay. Mm. And the fries a bit softer. Yeah. It could be a little crispier, I guess, but they're fresh cut. Yeah. That is nice up there. Um, the gravy. What do you think about the gravy? Kind of different. A little different taste, with it, isn't it? Hold on. It's quite salty. It's got a lot of salt in it. It's got enough salt in it for us. Too much for us, right? 
Yeah, a little higher so. But it's got decent flavor. Yeah, it's, it's, it is a decent bad. flavor. I'm enjoying it. And it's 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 not too thin, right? It's it, the thickness is. It's, it's weird. Thick it's, between a, it's between a thick and a thin. You know what I mean? It's right, right in the middle. The cheese curds are good though. Hard still, you know. Yeah, they don't know. They gotta have some milk in them, but I like them to have a little bit of integrity. That's just me. I don't want them to, like turned into just sauce. I would say For the sure. cheese is really nice. Mm -hmm. Cheese is great. I agree. The cheese is good. Okay. Uh, why don't we try the hot dog first? This now this is a foot long Andy's dog, so I told him to put everything on it. So what do you want? It's everything. This has got bacon and cheese. This is about eight bucks. To get just a plain foot-long hot dog here is about uh, oh, uh, five dollars, which yeah. isn't bad, right? Not bad at all. For the price of the holidays. Yeah, for sure. We'll cut this into three so we can try everything. That one. Thank you. It looks like it's got a lot of cheese on it. That's, I see onions, relish. That Jeez. back, that is that is back bacon on there. That's yeah. female bacon. That's not. That is female bacon, bacon, isn't it? Good touch, right? Mm -hmm. It has relish. Relish goes on a hot dog. That's uh. That's why. This is a very good. Yeah, it's not uh, awesome, but it's not bad. It's, it's a good size. It's just back. It's just what you expect from a football hot dog, mm -hmm. right? The toppings really help it out. There's lots of toppings. The toppings do help it out. And the female bacon, I didn't even notice that. I don't know. That's a bone, so here. Yep. Everybody's with me on that? Oh, I agree. Yep. Big time. And we might as well try the milkshake, so. Let's see, we got all the basic flavors. Vanilla, I'm strawberry, the vanilla myself. and a chocolate. Well, we got you a vanilla. I appreciate that. Now, they had uh, a couple more exotic flavors, like caramel and raspberry and that kind of stuff. But these are the go to exactly. Mm-hmm. That's a real milkshake. That doesn't come out of like a McDonald's machine, I don't think, do you? No. Did you not blend it enough? No, it's good. They oh. pride themselves on their thick uh, milkshakes. Mm -hmm. They said online. But uh, it's sucking up pretty good, so that's why I wanted to look at it. Yeah, it's really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. I think the flavor's good. And I think the thickness is enough. For it's, just, perfect. it's not over thick, right? Yeah, it's enough that you can suck it up, but you can still taste the thickness. Right. This place has been around here for 1947 is what I saw this place at. Yep. They named this corner after this guy, right? Yeah, yeah. well, not this guy. Well, the this guy that originally owned it. Owner, yeah. yeah. It's had several owners, I guess, but the original owner. Now, they did that after he had sold it, I think, for called the Andy's Corner. 1993. 93? Yeah, that's when they called the Andy's Corner. That's, uh, that's kind of cool, though, isn't it? Oh, 100%. Um, and the original owner actually came back last year. I'd seen uh, celebrate her 100th birthday. Yeah, her 100th birthday, that's right. Yeah. And she was in here having a milkshake. Yeah. So they must have passed her test, I guess. 93 is a good year. That's the year I'm born, so. Well, that signals, you know, hey, the food's still good. I'll, I'll come back. Right. Right? 93. Yeah. God, you're young. Am I? Yeah. I was born in, like, 72. Okay, let's see what we got next. Say everything's been pretty good so far. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously things, some things can improve a little bit, but hey, nothing's perfect. It, it's uh, it, what it is. It's a type of place. It is, you know, hundred percent. Yeah. And we're giving an honest review. We're critiquing things. Like we're not just saying it's good. Like it is good, but we're yeah. not just saying it's not it's perfect. perfect. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's not. Oh man, it's the best burger I ever had. But it's very or, yeah, it's pretty good. Burger, but it, it's all good. It's yeah. All, there's nothing been bad. Exactly. You gonna come in and get a picture of this one, Cindy? Did you get a picture of the hot dog earlier? No. Sorry. But well, let's get this. This is a double big Eric. What kind of fish comes square? Is that, uh... You ever heard of the square fish? No, I never heard of the square fish. Me neither. <laughs> How's that? Is a little bit of lettuce. Looks like fresh lettuce. A little bit of fresh lettuce. A bunch slightly toasted or grilled. Uh, two pieces of cheese. Two pieces of... Fish? The big Eric. The big Eric. The double big Eric. Double big Eric, yeah. Okay, I wish we had some napkins. Honestly, it looks unique. It does look kind of unique, doesn't it? Um, 
Um, I'm gonna. You know what? It's funny. It reminds me of a Big Mac, but with fish. Right. You know, you got the, the you got two <coughs> patty, like the two patties, just missing the, the middle layer bun. Now you can get a double filet fish now, can't you? I think so. Yes. I'm hoping this is gonna be better. I don't mind a filet fish. I hate to admit that. Yeah. But I don't mind a filet fish. Something about you know a good filet fish, right? I don't eat right. it often, but when I do. So she had a picture of it. Here we go. Take a third. Looks like a Mercedes yeah, logo. How you cut that? It does, doesn't ah. it? Not oh, a peace sign, eh? You see, he's not old enough for a peace sign. It's Mercedes. <laughs> All right. White fish. Real fish. Looks flaky. I think Whoa. it's real fish. I'll put this way down here for now. I've always liked the bigger. They've been around in small places. best there in London puts cheese on their fish sandwich. I haven't been but I've wanted to go. I've heard, I've seen and heard good things. Yeah, she does a nice job. Make sure you subscribe. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. We're gonna do a pretty big thousand subscriber episode, but we gotta get there first so make sure you subscribe. Piggyback, right? This is it, double piggyback. Is that what that's called the piggyback thing? Yeah I think it's because it has uh Bacon? yeah it has uh Female bacon. Oh, he's got some weight to it. Now, you were telling me this that the, these are fresh, yeah. not frozen beef, fresh, right? Not frozen. Like the Wendy's commercial, you know? Right. <laughs> well, I think Wendy should do that with her chicken. Start using fresh, not frozen because the chicken sandwiches. Their chicken's kind of gone down a little bit. Yeah, they, they, and they used to be a really good chicken sandwich there, you know? Sweet, nice and thick and juicy. It just doesn't seem as juicy, and there's a lot more uh, batter. You know? Right. Oh, I got to pick that up. A little turtle. There you go. Awesome. Man, this thing's massive. It is, isn't it? It's got some weight to it, right? Breaking my hand. <laughs> <coughs> now I ordered everything again. Yep. I don't think I put mustard on it. If you need mustard, there's mustard right here. But I'm gonna go for it the way they serve it. Right. It's got some juice to it, right? Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. mm. Homemade. That is a good burger. That's a really good burger. That's a great burger. Mm. The pickles are good. I think that's probably it's, my favorite thing I've eaten so far is this burger. It's weird too, because it's not like overly thick on the inside. Right. But there's a lot of juice flow on, and it, it kind of breaks apart in your hand. Mm -hmm. It kind of melts in your mouth. It's weird. It's good. Just, you don't see a lot of burgers like that. No. Uh, uh, smash burgers. Right. And the, this has got some thickness to it. Like, it's not super thick. Absolutely. <coughs> and lots of cheese. Two, two slices of cheese. And I think that's fine. Really that's a great burger. We ended exactly. on a high note with this one. Um, God, I think that's it. Anyone else got anything to add to this? It's a fantastic cheeseburger. It is. Yeah, I'd say and it's a good place. I recommend it. It's worth the drive. I've liked everything so far. It's, it's been pretty good, but this is this is bad this is where it's at. It is. We saved the best for last on that one. We did yeah. save the best for last. If you've been to Andy's, leave a comment below. If you haven't, comment anyway. Hit the like button. Subscribe, share. Uh, but really, subscribe. We're so close to a thousand. We really need your subscription. If you're watching us, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. I'm Big Dave. We'll see you again soon.